What is up my people? Today is a really special video because today I'll be reviewing the first ever non-Apple product on my channel. I do tend to specialize on Apple products, however, being a lover of tech in general, you will soon be seeing other reviews just like this one. This one is kind of cheating though since Apple does sell this product, they just don't manufacture it. It's the LG Ultra Fine 5K display that comes in at $1300 that is just jaw dropping. When it comes to tech and when it comes to computers in specific, a good monitor is a must and this is exactly what I'm talking about. We're going to take an in-depth look at this display because honestly having a good quality screen to view all your content on makes all the difference. And so without further ado let's jump straight into this one. It's the kind of beat the gold. Apple used to sell their own monitor that they themselves manufactured called the Thunderbolt Display. The Thunderbolt Display ran its course and unfortunately Apple did not decide to design and manufacture their own display. Instead, they partnered up with LG to do all the work for them and sell their display in the Apple Store. This display is marketed heavily, especially for Mac Mini users, which, hint, hint, will be testing out the Mac Mini in a future video with this display, although there are rumors Apple will be designing and releasing their own Apple-branded display sometime in 2019, alongside the long-anticipated modular Mac set to replace the severely outdated trash can Mac Pro still being sold today. Let's just hope Apple ain't flexing and doesn't pop in air power or as I like to call it wear power and actually follow through with that release because I'll be first in line for that insanely powerful Mac Pro with an Apple design display. So one thing I will say about this monitor is that I love the way it looks, truth be told. I prefer this look over the iMac display. Now before I get any hate on that, hear me out. The iMac display hasn't had a redesign in years. It has enormous bezels and in 2018 looks extremely outdated. This LG monitor at least looks modern, albeit with a very simple looking design. It has no flashy components or attention getters, just black plastic and small bezels. But then again, the plastic kind of sort of makes it look cheap, but when you actually see it in person, it redeems itself by how classy and heavy and sturdy it actually is, so don't be deceived. The display does a good job at accommodating to the person and desk it is being used in. For example, this display has a cool feature that many displays don't have and that is a height adjustment. You can adjust the height so that you don't strain your neck too much looking at the display for hours on end if you for some reason have a chair that is too low or too high for your desk. Additionally, the display has good articulation, meaning you can tilt it up or tilt it to look down and even tilt it left or right, but OCD people beware, it will bug you trying to get this dead in the middle. Another thing that bugs me, which I don't understand why manufacturers can't correct this, is that the bezels aren't even. You'll notice the monitor has a very big forehead, might as well call it a five head, and I mean at this point you may be saying, yo j Dog, bruh, now you're just nitpicking. Well, I am nitpicking. Once you're working on this display, the last thing on your mind is that this monitor just has a big forehead. So whatever, just wanted to point that out. On the back, we see we have three USB-C ports, a single Thunderbolt port to use on your MacBook Pro or Mac Mini, and lastly, the port for the power cord. You can easily remove the stand's mount on the back, which will reveal several labels and regulatory information. This is where you can be a true OG like I mentioned earlier and assemble your vase amount to put on your wall and be a pimp. Just make sure if you do, secure it well on your wall since this is a very expensive display. Now when it comes to features, it's pretty standard. You get a beautiful 27 inch monitor that is way more stunning in person than I can ever demonstrate here with more than 14.7 million pixels. That is a lot of pixels, my dude. The display is going to come packed in with stereo speakers, a 1080p camera, and a microphone. The resolution on the display is 5120 by 2880, good for 217 ppi with support for billions of colors. Yeah, I said it, billions with a B. The brightness on the display is also pretty standard, coming in at around 500 nits of brightness and comes with a P3 wide color gamut display. Now what I like about the display is just how clean it looks, since it only utilizes one single cable that is plugged into your MacBook Pro for display output and charging, and since the LG display supports 85 watts over Thunderbolt 3, it is designed to specifically be used in tandem with the 15 inch MacBook Pro. Another neat thing is that the monitor has no power buttons or anything of the sorts on it. The monitor only only goes to sleep or is shut off whenever the MacBook Pro or Mac Mini is put to sleep. So look, listen up. Time for my honest opinions. 
I've been working with the 5K iMac for close to a year now and I can honestly say these two displays are almost indistinguishable. The brightness, color accuracy, and pixel density is fantastic and LG did a great job with the monitor. Now again, this monitor was made to work specifically for Mac OS enabled devices and it works like a charm. I can't wait to see how it'll work with the Mac Mini but what I love is how it gives you more working space on a MacBook Pro. As a matter of fact, I'm looking at my script while also recording the audio for this as I am recording right now. At times while editing or scripting for videos, there's times that I wish I had more screen real estate to multitask to the max, but with a 15 inch display, it's quite difficult to do. And with this display, it solves that problem problem. I can be scripting on the MacBook Pro display and have YouTube pulled up while also browsing the gram and that is on some next level luxury bro. This is the future. Let's also not forget that in 2018 Apple is still slacking thinking it's totally acceptable to still put 720p cameras in their iMacs and MacBook Pros. No Apple, this is not okay. 720p makes me look like some kind of Minecraft character. We are spending thousands of dollars on this stuff. Wait, the f up Apple. LG did us a solid though and has that 1080p camera so you can FaceTime with Boo with that improved resolution. But listen, for those faithful Apple fans, this may not be the replacement you're looking for. It is obvious with the black plastic that this is not a first party accessory. That may tick off a lot of people, especially at this price. While it does get the job done and very well might I add, you really have to ask yourself if you're ready to drop this kind of money on just a display. This is not an all-in-one like the iMac. This is just the display. Take into consideration a Mac Mini purchase. If you don't already have the needed accessories, you'll first start off with the entry level Mac Mini, which isn't so entry level anymore, coming in at $800. Then add on the display at $1,300. And let's also assume you pray to Steve Jobs every night and are forever faithful to Apple and decide you need the magic keyboard and magic trackpad for your setup. Your total before taxes is $2,400. And with this kind of money, Apple haters will say they can build 9 or 10 PCs. Okay, maybe not 9 or 10, but point is you can get a very nice all-in-one setup for a fraction of the cost. At this price, why not look into an actual iMac? An iMac that's going to give you more power and performance and also more storage. I think this product is geared towards a very specific audience. This is more for people who rely heavily on their computers for very demanding tasks like photographers or musicians who produce music using software. I don't think this is a product that's meant for the average consumer. I think if this product was near the $800 price range, then maybe you could argue this is a wise purchase for the average Joe, but you really have to commit to your workload when you invest $1,300 into a monitor. But hey, I don't know, that's just my opinion. Don't get me wrong, it's a gorgeous display and if money is no issue for you then this is a no brainer. Disregard all I said in this past minute and if you're loaded and just don't know what to spend your money on, then go for it. As far as the average consumer looking to use a display for the, your Mac mini setup, there are dozens of great 1080p and even some 4K monitors that do the job well and at a fraction of the price. And I just think that's the biggest issue with this display is just the price at $1300. I understand that it's a 5K display and it is absolutely gorgeous. Not only that, like I mentioned, it is very clean. It makes your setup look really futuristic, especially having the MacBook Pro right next to it. And just having the expandable screen, being able to drag things over to the bigger screen while prioritizing, say, other screens where you're typing, it's really cool. It really makes you feel like the future. I remember when I first saw this kind of technology, I was blown away. And seeing it now on such a gorgeous display, man, it's a feeling like no other. If you do buy this for your setup, then props to you. You'll be editing, you'll be writing papers, you'll be doing whatever it is that you're doing like a boss. But also do keep in mind, it does consume a lot of power. It's always going to be charging your MacBook Pro first of all, and powering almost 15 million pixels. Yeah, it's pretty demanding on the energy level. So all I'm going to say is your power bill is probably going to go up a couple bucks. But hey, you do you. I don't know. Tell me what you think in the comments below. I'll be using this monitor for my Mac mini setup coming soon, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Also, a very quick update. Congratulations to Azmir Hakimi, I hope I pronounced your name correctly, for winning my last giveaway for a $50 Best Buy gift card. I love giving back to my community for supporting me and loving my channel. I love putting this content out for you guys. 
and I really hope to host more giveaways really, really soon. If you notice, that thousand subscriber mark is coming up real soon, so do not forget to subscribe so you can be entered for a definite giveaway once that time comes. Well guys, I'm clocking out of this one. So thrilled you guys have stuck with me to the end of this video, and I can't wait to catch you all in the next one.